Hello, welcome to this video. I am so excited about this video. I have been waiting to do this video for a long time. I'm not even sure why I haven't done it before, but now we're here and we're doing it. And I'm so pumped because I'm going to share four Nintendo Switch games with you that I love playing in my therapy work with kids and teens. And all four of these games have a common theme, which is they are all four co-op games. If you don't know what a co-op game means, it's cooperative, short for cooperative games. Meaning that in all four games, we have to work together, me and the child. We have to work together to complete the game, the task, whatever we're being asked to do in the game. Uh, we are working together to do it. And I love these co-op games with my kids. So let me share four. There are quite a few on the market and maybe I'll do a part two and share some others, but I'm gonna today share four that I really like uh, playing with kids. So the first one is called the Untitled Goose Game. Oh my gosh. So I've actually played this game and beat beat it several times with several different kids, which is kind of fun. It's fun to be able to play a game with a child and be able to get to an end, you know, where we beat the game together, which is pretty cool. Basic idea of this game is you're two geese and you're navigating this village and you have tasks that you have to complete. Um, in each little place you're at in the village. And when you complete those tasks, a gate or something will open up and you can move to another place in the village until you finally have done everything and you're free to go geese off, right? Like whatever you're gonna do. And um, it really requires you to work together, to strategize, to try to figure out what do we need to do here? And then how do we need to do it together to move on? And the geese are great because they're kind of um, they're kind of annoying geese. They kind of like mess with the villagers and mess things up, which is an element of this game that the kids really think is pretty funny. And so do I sometimes. So I would really recommend getting your hands on this. I don't think it's very expensive and it's a great one to have for your Nintendo Switch. Next one is Snipper Clips. This is a really interesting game. The design of it is you're basically these two little pieces and you can clip each other into different shapes. And you go through this, all kinds of different levels of trying to figure out what the puzzle or task is in that level and how to solve it. And it requires you to work together it requires you oftentimes to snip each other into different shapes in order to accomplish the task. So figuring all of that out uh, can be really challenging sometimes. It does require a lot of communicating and talking together and strategizing and figuring out. The graphics are fun. The characters are fun and silly. It is pretty entertaining game. But I'll even tell you from my own brain, sometimes I'm like, I uh, do not know what to do here. <laughs> I am not sure what to do here. This game is driving me crazy. But the kids are much better at it than me and actually help me a lot in figuring it out. But really good teamwork and communication involved in this game. Next up is my new favorite. I just love playing it all the time now. Uh, I even play it at home with my own son. It's just such a cool, cool designed game. And there's something about it that feels also just kind of relaxing to play as well. And that is Unravel 2. So basically you're these two characters that are connected. They're yarn characters and they're connected. And you have to go through this 
environment, which is really designed re in a really cool way. The graphics are really cool. And again, the environment to me are kind of, there's some kind of, something kind of tranquil about it and peaceful about it as you go through it. But you have to figure out how to get through the environment together. At each stage, there's something to discover. How do we get through this? How do we get to on to the next thing? And how do we do this together? And the thing about the um, being connected as a yarn is you can't, you can't run off from each other. So you have to navigate this together. You have to be successful together. And the last one I'm going to share is Overcooked. And I have a special version where I have Overcooked 1 and Overcooked 2. This is quite the teamwork game. I mean, you just have to work together to be able to play this game. Basically, you're cooks. And in each sort of round... You're in a kitchen where you're cooking certain meals and serving them. And you have to get so many meals prepared and served in order to advance to the next round. And each round gets progressively harder with new things that are kind of thrown at us that we have to try to figure out and navigate around. Each time we really have to figure out how to work together to get the food prepared and served or we're going to run out of time and not get it done. So it's another one of those games that requires quite a bit of strategizing, communication, and teamwork in order to do. The graphics are great. It's a really nicely designed game uh, in terms of just gameplay. And I really like playing it. Sometimes the levels can be pretty hard and we just have to repeat them uh, a few times until we can get past them. But all four, I would definitely recommend for sure. If you use a switch in your child or play therapy work, then I think these are four great games to have available to introduce and play with um, the kids that you work with. So hopefully that gives you a few ideas and a little bit more information on that. Uh, please give us a like on this video, subscribe to the Alt Play Therapy YouTube channel, and come back and watch more videos.